Hello everybody, so continuing where we left off, so we left off by uh, setting up our directional buttons, uh, we set draw equals to true, so whenever we have a draw command so we know when to draw and when to update, so we got our whole uh, sheet drawn like so. But what we want to do is that we want to crop out each individual uh, image depending on the direction they're facing uh, so that we get an uh, animation. So how do we do this? Well, for for a level 4 users, there was a function called blit and with the blit you could uh, crop out certain images like the, the source x, source y, etc, etc. Well, in Allegro uh, 5, there's something called draw al dot draw bitmap underscore region. Now, the bitmap the the region takes uh takes uh, a lot of different parameters, and I'll be try I'll be going through every single one of the parameters. So the first one's a bitmap that's simple enough. Now, as you can see, it says float s x, float s y, float s w, float uh, s h, and the other parameters are ones we know, like the x position, y position, and the flags. But these four ones we don't know. Uh, the first four ones we don't know. S X is, is stands for the source X. So it's basically saying where on the image should we start cropping from. Okay. So. For example, if I'm if I'm moving down, right, and I'm, I want to draw this first frame over here, right, the, I'm going to say that the source is going to be equal to zero on my on our whole image, right? If our whole imagine our whole image is is a screen, okay, the zero zero coordinate that is at the top left, just like with rectangles, just like with every other uh, thing we draw. So if I want to draw this first frame, my source x would be at zero, and my source y would be at zero right the next parameter asks for the source width and source site so since each individual image is 32 pixels by 32 pixels my source width would be source uh would be 32 and my source and uh, my source y would be 32 so then that's basically cropping on my whole image then for the x and y it's just basically stating where this uh particular image is going to be positioned on the screen so then after I'm done drawing this image, I'm going to want to draw this image in the middle. So I'm going to increase the source as x to 32. So the source x is 32, we're draw and the y is equal to 0. So we start cropping from here. The width is 32 and the height is 32. So we crop out this image and draw what we need to draw and so on and so forth. So if we go back to our, our program, uh... Okay, this is how we're gonna handle it. So we have our we have our player and for our source x and our source y. So for our source x, basically what we, what we want to do, our source x is gonna continue looping as long as we're moving, right? As long as we're pressing a button. Uh, so another thing that we never added yet, but I think that we should add right now is have a variable called active and set that equal to false. Okay. So at the beginning of our timer, what we're going to do is set active equals to true. So if they're pressing any of the directional buttons, then uh, active will stay true. If they're not, then we'll set active equals to false. Okay. So therefore, if active is equal to true, uh, that means we're going to be uh, increasing the source X and, and source Y. Right. So we're going to want to include two more uh, variables. So we're going to have source x and source y. And we're going to set both of them to 0. Actually, I'll set. I don't know why my mouse froze. OK, my mouse just froze. OK, that's weird. OK, so I'm going to set a source x and source y equals to 0. OK. So. No, my source y is actually going to be 32 because the standing animations are in the middle column. So I want it to the original position to be standing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say that if active, so if active is equal to true, uh, then source x plus equals uh, to the image's width. Now, I want to know if I could do a pointer to the image's width. Uh, like with a Lego 4 seems like you can't I think wait AL get uh, 
bitmap with yeah so we're gonna get the player bitmaps with so we're gonna add the bitmaps with divided by the amount of frames so we have three frames vertically so normally you, you might want to store the amount of frames in the in a in a variable but we're not going to do this for now so basically what we're going to what this is saying is that we're saying uh source x is going to be plus equals to the width of the thing divided by three and since there's three images across uh it's going to be uh 32 64 like 96 i think it's 96 uh across so 96 divided by 3 is equal to 32 so it's going to add 32 to it each time and we oh, oh so we can easily say uh that we want to increase it by 32 each time but i'm just showing you a different method to go about it so we do source x plus equals uh plus equals 32 and then we're going to have else so we'll have else source x is equal to 32 and then I'll have an if statement because uh, if our source, okay, if our source x is greater than or equal to our uh, our image's width, so our whole image's width, player, so if it's greater than or equal to the width, then you just want to reset source x back to zero, right? Because if our if our source x uh reaches the end of the bitmap it has nothing to draw so if it reaches right here then we just reset it back to zero okay simple enough so back to our code so we have our source x and our source y is like our direction okay so we don't really need a direction or we didn't really need a source y but uh whatever we'll live with it so for our source x what we're gonna do is just we're just gonna put source x there and for our source y, what we're gonna do is do direction times l get bitmap height and our image divided by a four since we have four frames, four frames going vertically. So what is this thing right here? So we're just saying that a direction times that. So why did I put it in this particular uh, order? So if we look at our enum right here, it goes down, left, right, and up. So if we're pressing like zero, okay, the enum starts at zero and increments um, by one. So if our player is facing down, what's zero times 32? That's zero. So it knows that our source y is going to be at zero, meaning that uh, we're going to be cropping out this line. If they're pressing the left key, then one times 32 equals 32. So source y is going to be equal to 32. Uh, and so on and so forth for each direction and just so oh, why do I keep on opening this okay so just so you guys don't get a bit confused then I'll just say that uh, source y is equal to direction okay so we have our source y times uh, the players uh, height divided by four and the width and the width and the height of it so you could do again the al get bitmap height uh width divided by three and blah 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 but just to save time uh we'll just say the width and the height is equal to 32 and the x and the x and y position is equal to x and y and for our flags we'll set that to null okay so if we run this program let us see what we get So right now we have a player standing uh, since direction is down when we move our player animates. Now notice that the legs and stuff are moving extremely fast, right? Uh, we're moving slow but the legs are moving extremely fast. That's because we're updating our draw command uh, 60 frames per second. So that means it's updating the leg, um, the frame speed at 60 frames per second you can uh, like you can adjust the timer and such to suit the the needs of what you need but i'm going to leave that up to you guys for you guys to figure that out so it's kind of like a challenge for you guys or a homework or whatever but that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye